What is going on guys? Today I want to talk to you guys about some of the MIDI capabilities that I'm using um, in detail with the HXFX. When I first started putting everything together, um, I didn't really know much about it. I had to watch a lot of YouTube videos, I had to do a lot of trial and error, and um, there was a lot of discovering I had to do uh, with that pedal. So what I'm pretty excited about is to show you guys what all I learned, um, because some of it may be common sense, some of it, you know, you might have to try to figure it out just like I did. So I want to be able to share that information with you guys. So today we're going to go over um, MIDI instances and assigning uh, MIDI pedals to switches on the HXFX. So let's check it out. All right, so here we are. I'm at a brand new preset. I haven't touched this one yet. And we're going to assign um, instances for the presets to change um, our MIDI powered or our MIDI based pedals. So here's what we do. I'm gonna go ahead and go into um, this edit mode. Click the edit button next to the save button and go to command center. So now we have um, all of our MIDI capabilities that are presented in front of us. These are instances, these affect the individual switches um, and then this uh, affects everything for the expression pedals. So what's cool is per preset you can have six instances, um, six MIDI instances happen at once, which is really cool. Um, so first things first, you have to assign all of your MIDI channels. For the DPC 8 EZ, you have um, you only have one choice right now that's programmed into this pedal. So this operates off of MIDI channel one. Um, for the timeline and oops for the timeline and um, for the timeline and the big sky you have to assign them so what I've done already is assigned my timeline to MIDI channel 2 and my big sky to MIDI channel 3 and that's going to be important when we start assigning instances. So, kind of get back into regular modes here. So, let's say um, we want to be in preset mode here for the disaster area. Um, and we want to set it to preset 1. So what we'll do is go to bank PC change and assign your MIDI channel. You can assign the MIDI channel, like the master global MIDI channel, within the HXFX to be whatever you want. Um, I think I kept it at one, but in this case, I'll go ahead and change it to one. And then on the next page, just arrow over here, um, i program, you want to go to number one. Um, <clears throat> zero is bypass, so in this case, we're going to number one. So our next instance, we're going to go ahead and set up the timeline. So let's say we want to use, and we'll just do where we are. We want to use this dotted quarter note um, preset that I made. So we'll go again, we'll go here to bank PC change, arrow over, go to program, and the timeline operates from zero. So at bank zero, it starts like this. It goes zero, one, bank one, two, three. So I have to set it to program three. And then the same thing for the big sky. Again, bank PC, arrow over, oh, bank PC, MIDI channel three, arrow over, program. Um, in this case, it's gonna be zero through three. So zero, one, two, Three, four. I want to go to four to use this sleepy sky mode. So go to four. So again, um, I have three things happening here. This is going to change to the first preset. This is going to change the dotted quarter note, um, and this is going to change the sleepy reverb. So again, in here, bank PC change channel one, program one. I oh, forgot to change that. Bank PC change MIDI channel 2 because I have timeline assigned to channel 2 program 3 bank PC change for the big sky 
on MIDI channel three, because that's programmed to MIDI channel three, go into program four. So we'll go ahead and we'll save that. Obviously you can change the preset name to whatever you want it to be, but it's already saved. So, so let's check this out. Let's go ahead and see what happens when everything's kind of changed. And we hit this button, bam. So you saw this, the DPC-8EZ um, activate its preset, and you saw us go to the presets that we assigned on the individual Strymon pedals, but right now they're not on. And that's an issue. So if you want them, if you want it like this, so that you can just prime them up, um, you're done. But if you want them to be active when you go to that preset, go back in here, go to edit mode, command center, we have to assign switches. And so um, here's what we will do. We're gonna go to switch, and you can pick any switch you want, any six. In this case, I'll just do these last two for the, the timeline and the big sky. So on MIDI, com uh, for the command, we're going to go to CC toggle. And then I know, because I've looked it up a hundred times, <laughs> that bypassing the uh, Strymon pedals is CC number 102. So um, for here, the CC number, uh, for the timeline, again, channel two, and then CC number 102. And that is bypass. And so we'll do it, we'll do the same thing again for the big sky. So MIDI toggle, or CC toggle, I'm sorry. MIDI channel three, because that's what I assigned it to, and then 102. So now, you should see these pop on and on, or on and off, I'm sorry. So now, if we want them on, save the preset with them on. So now, if we go to other settings, so even one's on and off, right? We'll do both off. Go back here, bam. When you go in, you now have the option to turn them on and off, but in the master preset mode, whatever's changed, whatever you're at before, it automatically goes back to what you assigned them to. So one interesting thing before I go that um, may help you guys, and I don't know if it was just a fluke on, on my part, but for some reason I couldn't route my MIDI to go to the DPC 80Z, then to the timeline, then to the big sky. For some reason, um, any other messages past um, MIDI channel one would have a hard time getting to any of the Strymon pedals. So what I had to do is reverse um, reverse the uh, the flow. So basically I'm going MIDI out from here to the big sky, then to the timeline, then to the TPC 8EZ. The good thing about MIDI and the reason why we assigned you know channels to them is that um, it doesn't it kind of doesn't matter how the how it flows as long as the program change and the, and the programming is right um, it'll listen as you saw. Uh, and another cool thing with the timeline um, it responds to tap tempo and that's kind of just built in um, you don't even have to assign anything globally um, in the HXFX uh, it kind of just responds that way. You might actually, you might have to, let's see, I think you go to global settings, go to MIDI tempo, and yeah, you may have to assign the MIDI out um, to send MIDI clock. But other than that, that's it. So hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Um, if you have any questions, just comment down below and I will do my best to get back with you. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe and appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you next time.